Okay, so this is a follow-up video to the uh, the first one I did on the Google XML sitemaps plugin, and uh, I, at the end of the video I was a little rushed and I think I left a little detail off. So here's where we are. So when you're creating a location of your sitemap, this is for a site that has its um, has its blog installed in a subdirectory. To be able to take advantage of this plugin here, this XML sitemap generator for WordPress. You need to, as noted here in the additional pages section, you need to uh, you need to uh, place the uh, the sitemap in your root directory, and then you need to tell it what pages are in the rest of your root directory. So I need to create a custom location here. I need to make sure that this is gone, that subdirectory, and then in the complete URL also that's got to be gone. So now I have the sitemap in the uh, root directory, which is this on this particular hosted account. Okay, and then we need to go in and add new pages in the additional pages section here. So what that means is I'm going to go, let's see, this is the site we're talking about. Here's the blog. I'm going to go back to the home directory here. This is the first page. So I'm going to grab this, and I'm going to add a page here, and it is index.html. Okay, and then I'm going to go to the next page, which may be about us specializations that's a page okay and I'm gonna enter these pages here and I'm gonna keep entering them until I've got everything once I've got this set up once this sitemap tool is gonna is gonna manage the whole site for me if anybody makes any changes to any of those pages they'll be updated the search engines will be notified it will save a ton of time later trust me it's a little bit of a pain right now um, but that's just what I get for installing the uh, the blog in the subdirectory as opposed to another site altogether, another URL altogether. Um, this is preferable ultimately because you want the blog in the subdirectory of your site so that all the content, all the value of that content that's in the blog is reflected on the uh, SEO value of your site. And then, and then this great plugin here uh, will manage the sitemap for you. So what you're going to want to do is keep entering all these, and you can set these priorities. This is the priority here um, relative to other pages, okay? And then the frequency. If you've got pages that are updating regularly, you're going to want to choose hourly. But this is the index page of the site, the home page. So my guess is that weekly or monthly should be fine, okay? And I'm just going to keep doing that until I've got them all built out. This other site I've got here, Formation Solutions, I've basically added all the pages that I want to be included in the sitemap. It's the About Us page. It's the Contact page. It's the Index of the Services section, of the Client section, and so on and so forth. And I've entered these here. So I'm going to want to do this for the Zamzo group, and when it's all done, I'm going to hit Save, and we're going to be good to go. Okay? Hope that's helpful. Take care.